Welcome to Paymo. In this series of updates, we're covering a feature that will help you apply the Pomodoro technique in Paymo. The Pomodoro technique is a popular time tracking method that uses a timer to break down work into intervals of 25 minutes, separated by short breaks. To access the Pomodoro timer, open the desktop widget, select the project and task that you work on, and choose the Pomodoro option. This will open the Pomodoro interface. Before starting the timer, you can customize the length of each Pomodoro session, short break, and long break under the quick settings, as well as enable sound notifications when a Pomodoro session or break is over. We'll stick with the default settings, which feature a 25 minutes timer that runs counterclockwise when started. As time passes by, the Pomodoro beneath will fill up to visually channel the progress of your work session. According to the Pomodoro technique, a work session of this kind is sacred, requiring you to ignore any sort of distraction. So, if you stop the Pomodoro timer midway, the visual progress indicator will reset itself. However, the time entry will still be registered under the timesheets module to not lose track of your efforts. When the time is up, the default 5 minutes short break will start automatically to give you a much needed break. What's left afterwards is to start a new Pomodoro session. Remember, 4 Pomodoro sessions equal a healthy dose of focused work. After these are over, the default 15 minutes long break will automatically kick in to help you regroup your thoughts and prepare for the next batch of work. You can start a Pomodoro timer for any recently tracked tasks by clicking on the three ellipses in front of a task. You will also see the client name on top of each time entry if you toggle it from the general settings. This comes in useful if you work on tasks with the same name but for different clients. That's a wrap on how to use the Pomodoro technique in Paymo. We hope you enjoyed the new update and start working with time and not against it.